I'm Mark Silvestri, uh, CEO of Top Cow Productions and one of the creators of The Dark Souls. It's the first time we've ever had a real shot at making a video game. The reason why we went with Starbreeze is, quite frankly, the, one of the best out there. And they've proven themselves with Chronicles of Riddick. And we wanted to see what they could do with the next generation. I think they wanted to see, too. The thing that impressed us so much about Starbreeze on a creative level was that they really understood the world of the darkness. You know, for years, the darkness is celebrating its 10-year anniversary this year. And for years, people have been coming to us and saying, we want to make a game, we want to make a game. And it was never the right combination, the right people involved at the right time. Technology wasn't where it should be to create a completely immersive environment that Starbreeze has done, which they've done an amazing job, and to really make you feel like you are Jackie Estacado, the darkness playing this game. The majority of the people playing this game will have never heard of the darkness. And it was very, very important to us, to 2K Games and the Starbreeze, to make sure that the gameplay gave you the origin of Jackie and his world without interfering with the gameplay. For people who are familiar with the comic, they're not going to be disappointed at all. It is Jackie Estacado. It is the darkness. You get it right away. For people that have never seen the comic before, they're going to find themselves immersed in gameplay immediately during their introduction to his world. To me, that's where Starbreeze really came through. It was very, very important not to stop a gameplay. You're learning about who you are and who Jackie is and who that character is in that world right away as you're playing the game. So the idea behind it is, you know, you run around as a mobster, kind of your standard running around with guns, and, but by just the press of a button, you could shapeshift into one of the dark ones. Uh, Jackie's little alter egos that kind of run around. And by holding the L trigger button, you can now wall crawl. Uh, you can also use the x to pounce and kind of leap 50 feet across the arenas and whatnot. So it makes it so, for some interesting uh, scenarios, you know. You play as a mobster, you run around the corner being chased, and all of a sudden you shapeshift to a dark room, jump on the ceiling, and then ambush your pursuer. So it's pretty cool. The shapeshift thing is totally customizable by the player. I mean, we have deathmatch, team deathmatch, capture the flag, survivor. So it's totally up to the host how he wants to play. Is it humans only? Is it darklings only? Humans versus darklings? You know, vice versa. So it's totally customizable for the player. But we've come a long way. We're adding a lot of polish, you know, the motion blur aspect, adding a color filter to the whole game, trying to give it a New York, that really gritty, dark sense that kind of stuff is really good for. Everything they were concerned about, us being concerned about, any changes they had to make, were, were always ran by us. And we were really appreciative of that. Because usually, when you're working in other genres, you have to fight for your right. You have to fight for your creative input. Uh, these guys not only didn't fight us, they encouraged us. On the PS3 and 360, Starbreeze is really pushing uh, the limitations of what we know so far on the engine. So it's come a long way uh, in the past few months, and I'm really excited about where we are. For the Darkness coming out on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 on June from Starbreeze and 2K.